so this is like day, I think, three uh, that uh, I have been investigating this same location. There have been a couple of night investigations also, but uh, each time I have to wait a couple weeks before I come back. And so I've got uh, game cam SD cards to collect, and then I'm going to put uh, recorders out and uh, see what the heck is going on. But for right now, I'm just going to go and uh, take a walk near the stream because it's always nice to see if there's any little footprints there or something like that. There is a storm coming, uh, and I don't even have like an official Bigfooter hat because my wife and daughter and her friend are here, and they took off to go on a hike, and all my hats are in the car, so this is kind of freaking me out. I don't know if I can Bigfoot without a hat. We'll see. Also, I'm wearing Crocs. Oh, and look, you can see Nisus. That's my knee. Um, yeah, that's the fun I've been having. Funny thing is, one of my game cameras is right over here. I'll show you. It's right over here, and my targets are right there. And for some reason, every time I've heard things here, it's been after I've been, well, well after I've been shooting. And so that sounds like a darn good excuse to go out and do some target shooting. Science. The way I see it is, the control is not shooting. And that happens all the time that I'm not here. And so if I do shoot, that's the experiment. All right, so we're gonna try that. It's gonna be interesting to see if I can shoot and hold the camera. We'll figure it out. Whichever target I hit is the one I was aiming at. Fire in the hole. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. So I was picking up my spent shell casings and uh, put my hand like into a little ground wasp nest. Um, and I think I picked up a wasp. Um, I can't move fast. Uh, I didn't get stung, but uh, I tried to move fast. <laughs> I got lucky this time. Seriously. Okay. Heading back from the gun range, I heard some noises over here. Sounds like people. Now I do not have permission to go on the other side of these woods, so I'm not going to just because that's just a polite thing to do with my neighbors. But I will show you ah, it's a deer's eye view what we got over here. It opens up over here a little bit into a field. Over there is the National Forest. But over that direction is where we hear the craziness. Maybe tonight. So once I got the 10 or so hours of audio, I had to go through it so that I could break it down into workable chunks and eventually I got it into this six minute clip which is interesting but it's just a little bit too long for a video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip not alter it at all and I'm just going to cut it into its component sections alright what I did next is I cut that six minutes down into about a minute's worth of time which is a lot easier to work with and uh, what you can then do is what what you can see here all these little lines those are crickets and they're hard to get rid of you can do it but it might also ruin some of the audio but if you're just looking through here it's really hard to see where any good audio might actually be and so that's when it helps to do this. 
put it into a spectrogram. And then you can actually start to see some of what you're looking for. Like you can see these little dots right here. There's something there. These lines, probably wood knocks. Uh, this is actually a plane, and I cut some of it out. But there's noise here and noise here while the plane was going overhead. And so that's what I'm most interested in right now. And uh, frankly, if you hear just the original audio, it's hard to hear some of this stuff unless you clean it up. So we're going to work on cleaning it up a little bit. So what I did for you guys is I put this on a grayscale to make it a little bit easier to, for you guys to see. And it's a little bit easier for me to work with. And you're looking for things like that. So let's just play it, see what it sounds like. All right, well, a lot of that stuff, quite frankly, was hidden when you first looked at the audio on Audacity. Uh, you could hear it uh, from headphones, but you couldn't really easily see it, and so you have to play around with it. I'm going to continue playing around with it because I think there's more in there that we can find. Okay, there was a lot more in that audio clip than I had anticipated. Uh, once I was able to scrub out, not the crickets. I left them because when I got rid of the crickets, it kind of messed up the other noise. But uh, what you can see is in areas where it's clear, those are areas I was able to scrub away. When you see something like this or like that, it's something to pay attention to. Usually a line like that is like a wood knock or something to that effect. And what's kind of cool is you can also uh, get an idea of like the the hertz that you're looking at over here and uh, as time progresses you can see the seconds go across here but I'm once it starts playing I'm not going to say anything I'll just add to the video afterwards to show you what I think we're hearing but uh, take a listen to this now you will hear there is sound manipulation because when you pull away sounds and amplify sounds it's going to change things uh, so I do have the original version available but I just wanted to show you that sometimes sounds can be hidden uh, for, in this case uh, when an airplane goes over we were getting some kind of creature howling so it's kind of cool so just give this a listen and let me know what you think Thank <laughs> you. 